welcome back to my channel it's your girl coco styles and welcome guys so in today's video i'm just gonna give you guys a quick unboxing of some new perfume that i purchased i'm trying to build back my perfume selection because it kind of went down for a while and i kind of stuck with the same perfume for a while and i just kind of just wanted to build build it back up so today i actually purchased Marc Jacobs Daisy So Sweet. Now, I was initially going to purchase Chanel Privé, but I didn't really like the way it smelled. So I said I wanted something light for nighttime and that I can sleep with and, you know, nothing too, too strong. So this one, and it's actually a toilet. So um, it doesn't stay as long, in my opinion. I tried, I had a sample, um, a sample one and I tried it out. Sorry for all the noise, but I'm actually opening it up in front of you guys. So, sorry for the noise. <laughs> um, but here it is. It's the Daisy, Daisy Love. And it's the, um, So Sweet version. It's a, I got the 100 mil. I really like this. And this is probably something that I'm going to keep in my, selection of stuff because I do like to smell good when I go to bed. Um, so here's the bottle. It's very, very pretty, guys. Very pretty and very feminine. So it's the So Sweet one, like I said. Very light blush pinkish color on it and this little daisy flower, which is actually really, really cute. And I'm going to let you guys know what's in this particular one um let me just pull up the top or whatever i'm not gonna spray it because i i did get a sample but for those of you guys who want something light and sweet who don't like the chanel one this would be a good one and and this is pretty much in the flora family i wasn't a fan of florals before but i, I actually really like this and it has a little bit of a fruity floral scent so I like. Um, I'm going to read from the keynotes that I actually see that they have in here. So there's some white raspberry. There's some daisy tree um, petals. Um, and sugar musk. Now, the sugar musk, is that's probably what I am smelling when I... There's a different little hint of something else and that's probably what it is. But it's not too strong. It's definitely very, very feminine. And something that you can just wear after just getting out the shower or even coming home from maybe work or maybe partying. <laughs> and you take a shower and stuff before you go to bed and you just kind of relax with it. So it says this um, this fragrance boasts notes of sparkling white raspberry to reveal a um, lustrous personality. So while the soft floral airiness and delicate musk immerse in you, uh, sweet what does it say? Sweetness of the moment. The fresh gourmet fragrance creates an enticing atmosphere that truly embraces its name. So sweet. Okay. So this is it. I, I think, I, I mean, like I said, if you don't like the Chanel, because that's what I actually want to go purchase, but I, I didn't like it and I didn't want to just get it just to say that I had it. But this is something that I would wear, definitely wear to bed. Um... Also, I picked up some new face moisturizer. I forgot the young lady, young lady's name on YouTube. Um, she recommended this one. It's the Bobbi Brown Enriched Face Base. Now, this is mixed with like the primer and the moisturizer. It's a little pricey, guys. I'm not even going to lie. Um... I'm opening it up in front of you guys, but I did get a sample. Listen, get samples. I wanted to make sure that it wasn't going to break out my skin first because I believe I don't have sensitive skin. However, some things just don't go with me. It's not a huge bottle, but you do not need a lot. So the two little samples that I have, I had them for about four days now, and I still have, they're both still pretty much almost full. Um... <clears throat> The bottle is cute. It has a little B on top for Bobbi Brown. And it has vitamin E in it. And it has, what else? 
there's something else in here. Well, I guess that's the main ingredient, which is the vitamin B. But I like the consistency of this one. It's very creamy. I used to use, what is it? My primer, I was using Tarte. But it was it's very, very matte. So I really didn't like that one. But this, I would recommend, like I said, I have been using it for a couple of, well, a few days now. And I like it. Um, I have not broken out in any type of rashes or anything. So it's pretty much an all-in-one primer and moisturizer. So I would recommend this. I'm going to link everything at the bottom. But it is $62, guys. $62. But I think it's worth it. Normally, I wouldn't spend this much on a primer because I'm not... I don't wear like... I'm not like a makeup guru. However, I need my skin to be protected and I'm really big on not having like acne and stuff so if I can can really control it but if you guys I see I have a little pimple right there um but so that's my biggest thing if I I know if something is not working if the next day or a couple of days later I break out in like a heat rash sort of kind of but this I didn't have any issues with this so that's another thing that I bought is the vitamin enriched face base by Bobbi Brown and it's an all in one primer and moisturizer so pick that up guys and what else so I actually bought a ring from uh, Swarovski crystals and guys can I let me tell you well one if you purchase from here or hadn't I think you guys should keep your receipt in your box. I believe you have a year to take the stuff back. Um, but this ring, this ring is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm going to put it on. So now the sizes on the website, I believe they're like in 10s or something like that. Um, I have big hands. So I'm putting it on this hand just so you guys can see, but I will not wear it on my engagement finger. <laughs> but um, I have really big hands and a big feet. So <laughs> uh, I didn't know which one, which size was best for me. My mom used to always say your ring size is your shoe size. Um, so that's how I used to kind of like gauge it or whatever. But this was actually a size 60, which she said is actually a size nine. I do not wear a size nine. However, I'm closer to a 10, 10 and a half, 11. Um, I actually do some shoe shoe hauls for you guys, for those of you guys who have big feet like me. Um, but here's the ring. It's very, it's so pretty. Like this was 150, I believe. 150. So it's sterling silver with the crystals and stuff. And I just kind of got it to go with my little earrings or whatever. Just something very classy. Nothing too much, um, nothing too extravagant. Like I said, I have, I had diamond earrings before. I had another ring that I totally lost. So it just really wasn't worth it. Um, maybe in the future, honestly, I don't know how I lost it. I don't really lose stuff, maybe moving, but this is the ring and it's crystals all the way around the band. It's pretty thick. I think it's a good little find for your add into your jewelry collection. So again, this is the ring and um, it's super pretty. Like it's so pretty in person. So I just would recommend you guys taking a look at it. If it's a little too pricey for you, wait till they have sales because I believe they do have sale coming up. Um, but I would recommend this ring if you like simpler things. So that's it, guys. That's all I have for you guys today. So just a little quick unboxing for you guys. I'm going to place this back in here. Um, and just a little quick unboxing for you guys. And like I said, keep your receipt just in case anything happens to your ring. Um, hopefully nothing falls out of the ring, any of the crystals or whatever. And just hold on to the box. They'll put you in the system. And then you, you pretty much get points and stuff. And after I believe 250, you get like something or whatever. Um, I believe it's in this little pamphlet. Let me see. Yeah, they have like different access. So you got bronze, silver, and gold. If you spend from 250, I guess, and up, you get a 20% voucher. And then the gold is 600. So I'll be honest with you. If you're buying $150 plus stuff, you end up being at gold before you know it. 
And if, especially if you're trying to build your jewelry collection. But um, yeah, so that's it. That's it. Just a little quick unboxing, guys. And like I said, I do recommend everything that I have here. The Daisy Perfume. I love it for nighttime. The uh, Bobbi Brown Enriched Face Moisturizer, Base Moisturizer. I definitely recommend that. And I recommend this ring if you're trying to if you're trying to build your you know jewelry collection and you don't really want to just go to like um i guess forever 21 and stuff like that um or you can just go buy a real diamond ring <laughs> whatever makes whatever floats your boat but that's it guys so i want you guys to hit that subscribe button and comment below if you stay to the end of this video coco we see you like we always do and I pretty much will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you soon. Bye.